Well, children, it is our time for Children's Church, and we do have Ellie over there and all the children at home. So we're so glad that you're here with us uh, for our, our service. And I was thinking about what to do for a children's talk. As you know, we've been looking at the different fruit of the Spirit, and you see all the different fruit here. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. And today we're thinking about faithfulness particularly. So children, what I want to do today is tell you a story. Can we do a little bit of story time on a Sunday morning? Maybe you're used to stories before bedtime, but we're going to do a little story for a Sunday morning. And today our story, uh, well, oh, I have to set up the story. Because remember a few weeks ago, children, I asked you, what was your favorite fruit? And you heard some of the disappointing news of how long you'd have to wait. That if you're hoping for strawberries, you've got to wait a whole year, one year maybe for strawberries. Blueberries could be three years. Oh, if you want apples or oranges, you're looking at 7 to 10 years or 7 to 15 years for oranges. That might be a really long time, even hard to imagine. But today I want to tell you a real story about waiting for special fruit. So today's story is about the Fung's apple tree. I know we haven't seen Andrew in a while. Is Jonathan? No, he's not here this morning. Anyways, you can talk to them about their tree later on. This is the Fung's apple tree. And... I wish the story was just, they had an apple tree, everyone ate apples, and everyone lived happily ever after. But the story of a fruit tree is sometimes more complicated than that. Well, they started with a a grafted tree, maybe just kind of a baby tree, and they needed many, many years to actually grow this tree. And it wasn't always smooth. Um, You'll understand this picture a little bit later. But sometimes when uh, this tree was getting going, there were worms that came on it. So the first few years, see these gross worms are all over the tree and they didn't know what to do. And, they, and then the fruit actually was quite sour too. They ate some of the first apples and it didn't taste good at all. And they had this tree. And children, do you know what happened next at some point? Even a bear came along and damaged the tree. So a bear came along and knocked down some of the branches. And during that time, there were also other insects and ants. Anyways, this tree has been through a lot over many, many, many years. And sometimes nicer animals would come too. So one time they captured a deer near their uh, apple tree as well. You know, and I wonder if they thought about giving up. It had been so many years and their tree had so many different problems. But they decided, let's keep growing this tree. And so because the bear damaged it, children, you may actually see that they had to put pieces of wood to hold up the tree because of some of the damage that happened. But you know what they did is they stayed faithful and they started realizing we need to water the tree more. We need to deal with the insects. We need to help it grow. And uh, now what happens to them is they get these beautiful tr- uh, apples. So this is probably one of the tools they use to hook down the apples. And look at that, children. Doesn't that look delicious? And now, now after many years of this journey of being faithful to this tree, um, oh, I thought I had one more picture. I want you children to see exactly how many apples there are. I think there are probably hundreds of apples on there. And now for the Fungs and their apple tree, every year they get to share apples with many different people, make pies and apple sauces and all of that. Well, children, we're learning about faithfulness. And I think this story of the Fungs apple tree shows that the tree probably didn't look like what they imagined before after bear damage and worms and ants and insects. Uh, but through uh, faithfulness and God's amazing creation, uh, they have uh, these apples to celebrate. So children, I, I want us to be able to pray together as we think about faithfulness, and we think about this long journey of the tree, that that will teach us something about growing uh, together in God as well. Um, so children, let's take this time to pray together, and I invite all the church to join us uh, together as well. Dear God, thank you that you are faithful and your love never quits Help us to be faithful, even when we feel like quitting. In Jesus' name, amen.